This is the story of homecoming for Paul, who has been away from home for the last two years due to the pandemic. He is grieving and angry as his dad passed away during this time. In addition, he is also not able to communicate with his mom and is at its wit's end with her. Mom, what's happening to you? You're not the mom that I used to know two years ago. Gentle, kind, and understanding. Now you're like a complete stranger to me. I don't know you either. Ever since you returned home, you have been picking on me on everything I do or say. I have such a sad life. I have already lost your dad due to COVID. And now you, my only son, you are giving me a headache. And I think I better off date. Then, then, then why did you lie that you went for morning exercise when you have not? Lie? You, why do I like to lie to you? I have been going to the park to do Tai Chi. I don't know why you keep on saying I lie to you. I think you are losing your mind and I'm losing my appetite. Call me a stranger. Call me a liar. I don't know what to do with her anymore. Hey, Uncle Paul, what was that about? Your grandma. How long has she been like that? Like what? Oh, you mean asking me about 20 times if I had eaten? <laughs> As if she did not hear my reply. I sometimes feel like recording my answer and doing a playback for her. But, seriously, I think Grandma is really lonely after Grandpa passed on. She often talks about him and you. I guess she was hoping you could come home soon. I wasn't able to come home earlier because of the COVID situation. Life has been hard on all of us. I miss saying a proper goodbye to your Grandpa. I'm glad you are here with Grandma. Cheer up, Uncle Paul. Cheer up. Why don't I show you my newest game? It's really fun. No, no, no. Take no, your mind no. off okay. for a bit. Come on, let's no, go. No, no, let's go. No, it's no. really fun. Come, come, come. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Come. After being introduced to gaming, Paul becomes hooked on gaming, drinks, and drugs to numb his pain and to escape from the realities of life. Now, we enter into his virtual world where we see him as an avatar in the midst of his favourite game.
The sky is turning dark. It's going to rain. Let's gather the scattered sheep quickly. We are lost. Which way should we go? It's really getting cold. Do not be afraid. Let's all follow that star. Where am I? Where is this place? Paul? Paul, do not be afraid. Can you see us? Where am I? You are with us. Come, come over and meet my son Jesus. How, how, how can this be? Paul, come forward and hold our baby. Paul, Paul, do not be afraid. You have finally come home. All these years, I have been looking for you, calling you by name. But you did not hear me. Life has been so unbearable. My divorce, work, being away from my family, COVID took my dad away. I didn't say goodbye to him. And now, I fear that I'm losing my mom too. I know you have gone through much pain. I am always with you, even if you cannot see or feel my presence. Your dad is safe in my heavenly father's arms now. Do not worry. Your mom, Paul, just be with her. Accept her as she is 
and show her that you love her. That is all that you need to do. Listen to my voice and you will know what you should do. Look at the shepherds. They brought their entire flock to me. All of you who are wounded, lonely, abandoned, angry, fearful, those who grieve and are in despair, come to me. Not a single one of you will be lost when you come to me. This is my promise to all of you. Where are 
like you? Are you hiding from me? Paul, why have you abandoned me? Me, it is me, Jesus. I will never abandon you. Paul is right here beside you. My sweet Jesus. Me, I know your fears. That you may forget everyone and everything you love one day. Trust me, I will never forget you, and you'll never forget how much I love you till the end. Um, the journey ahead of us may not be easy but we will get through it together because Jesus leads us by the hand and has brought us home Mom let's go My dear children, I have come into this world as a baby to redeem each and every one of you so that none will be lost. Will you let me lead you by the hand and bring you home to God, my Father? <laughs> <laughs> 